Windows on Your World in Vegas 6.0 from Sony. When you first open the program, you're going to get a screen that looks something like this. Up on the top here, we have our timeline and our track list. Down here, we have the Vegas dock, mixer, and video preview. Now, I'll admit that your screen might not look exactly like this. I've tricked mine out in a couple of different ways that I will be glad to share with you. First of all, what I do is flip everything around because I don't like to be looking down at my video preview. So what I do is change it up by flipping it around. This is how I like my Vegas workspace to look. You can customize the Vegas workspace in any way you like. Save your workspace as a layout and then recall it with a simple keystroke as I just did. The beauty of the Vegas interface is Windows and its simplicity. Every one of these windows is a window. You can drag it anywhere you like. If you have two monitors, you can drag it to a second monitor and keep your video preview and timeline on one monitor, for example, and put everything else on another. You can float windows anywhere you like or drag them back to the dock. You can change the order here in the dock just by dragging the tab. All of these windows can be moved, including the time display. And time display, I have additional options for, including the time format, samples, time, seconds, time frame, up to SMPTE times. I can change the text color and the background color. And I can make time really big if I want to. There are keyboard shortcuts for everything in Vegas. In addition to the quick start guide you get in the box, Vegas also ships with a card with all the keyboard shortcuts. For example, if you click the view menu, you'll see that in order to view the Explorer, we can hit Alt-1. All these keystrokes make life a lot easier for some, and other people don't like them at all. I've opened a project to make it easier to see these different areas of the screen. Over here, we have the track view, a.k.a. the timeline. Over here is our track list, all the tracks that we have. Up top, we have the menu bar, the toolbar, which can be customized. We'll take a look at that. Here's our time display. This is the marker bar. You can see we have markers up at the top, and below it is the ruler. We can right-click and set the ruler to any display we like, from samples, time, seconds, frames, and many SMPTE choices. Down here, we have the transport bar, and we have the status bar all along the bottom here, which will give us information as it occurs. We also have two different ways to scrub through our material. Up here, in a different form, and down here. This button gives us the normal playback rate. We can set this however we like. Double click it, it returns to normal. Windows on your world in Vegas. In the next lesson, we'll take a look at layouts, toolbar, preferences, and I'll show you a couple of tricks.